Hello! This recording will give you an introduction to the basics of using Blackboard IM, formerly known as Wimba Pronto, to chat with your fellow students, faculty members, and staff here at Grand Rapids Community College. To download Blackboard IM, log in to bb.grcc.edu. Under Tools, on the left-hand side, you'll see a link, Blackboard IM Instant Messaging. If you click there, and then click on Get Blackboard IM, you'll be directed out to a website where you can set up a Blackboard IM account and download the software. Go through the process at the bottom to create a new account and then download the software. I'm going to create a new account so you can see what that looks like and you'll notice that it brings in my username and email from Blackboard. So dlit um, and my email is dlit at grcc.edu. I can choose a password. It's important for you to remember that the password you choose for Blackboard IM is not going to change on the same schedule that the passwords change at Grand Rapids Community College. So choose a password that you'll be able to remember. And then you can select a security question with an answer. And this will help you if you forget your password. Check the box next to I've read and agree to the Blackboard IM terms and conditions and click submit. Okay, it created my account and you, you can either select to download Blackboard IM for the Mac or for the Windows platform. Because I'm on a Mac, the website does know what OS I'm running and will automatically give me the purple chat bubble next to that. So I'm going to click on Download Blackboard IM for the Mac and hit the Save File button. Well, that's downloading, I just want to point some things out at the bottom. You can always change these, but it's nice to know what the checkboxes mean because when you come back to manage your courses, you'll see the same screen. Automatically enable Blackboard IM for new courses. This is checked by default and that's a good idea. Then when you're in winter semester and you're transitioning over to summer, your new summer classes will automatically show up in your Blackboard IM list. Then you have the option, depending on whether you're a participant in a course or an instructor, all of the courses you're enrolled in will be listed here. In some cases that could be a lot of courses. So if you're an instructor or a student in courses that have already completed, for instance this sample course which has got a .f11 so it's a fall 11 course, I can uncheck that box and it will disable Blackboard IM from this course. And that's as an instructor. If I want to just not have it appear in my Blackboard IM list, I can check it up here. Okay. Once you're all set with all of that, you can just click sign out. I'm going to close this tab. Let's check on the download. It's almost finished. When it's completed, all you do is double click on the file and then follow the steps to install it on your computer. So once you've installed Blackboard IM on your computer, all you need to do is click on Applications, click on Blackboard IM. If the icon shows up on your desktop, you just double click to sign in. And then type in your Blackboard IM ID. Mine is DLIT, and then the password that you selected. 
So it's not necessarily the same as what you use to log into Blackboard at Grand Rapids Community College. And I'm going to uncheck this box to remember me. I'll show you some of the important preferences in a minute. Now this is letting me know how I can instantly communicate with everyone from campus. If I click on classmates, it's showing people who are in all of the classes that I elected to have show up on this list. If I click on school, there are certain areas such as GRCC IT support and the library who've set up the ability for you to talk live with someone in that area. Right now, they're all grayed out with the exception of the business and accounting tutoring lab, so I can't connect with them. But if I had a question for business and accounting, I could double click on this, let them know what question or what I'm looking for help on, click OK, and then I'll be placed into queue to talk with a live representative. Let's look at the preferences for your Blackboard IM. There are a couple important preferences to take note of. For sign in, start Blackboard IM when my computer starts. By default, that's always turned on. Sometimes that's nice, and some people might want to disable that preference. Sign me in when Blackboard IM starts. I don't like to be signed in automatically, so I'm going to keep that unchecked. The other preference I want to point out is the profile preference. This is nice so that when you're talking to a fellow classmate or one of your instructors, you can have a little information about you and even a picture so that they can help identify who you are. So you can go ahead and click choose picture to choose a profile picture, but I'm going to click OK to get out of this. Now I don't currently have anyone listed on my contact list, but if I wanted to add someone I could click on people and then add contact. This only works if you know their Blackboard IM ID, which in many cases will be the same username that someone uses for Blackboard on campus. Type in their ID. I don't currently have any groups, so I need to add this person to a specific group and name the group, so I'll call them Campus Contacts and click Add. It found this person and added them to my contacts. So I can just click OK. If I wanted to send a message to Megan, I can just double click on her name and type in a message. And then click OK. Right now, Megan's not online, so it tells me that she's offline and I won't get a message back. But if she was, we could have an instant messaging conversation right now. Thank you for watching. This was the basics for using Blackboard Instant Messaging.